What is something that is not right about your body, but not serious enough to go to a doctor? Sometimes I'll have one random hair that grows out of my arm that has the consistency of plastic and is almost clear looking. My mum gets it too. It's just one hair. I used to have a hedgehog named the... I'd let him run around on my bed. One morning I slid out of bed and got a sharp pain in my left ass cheek. I walked to the bathroom and saw that I had a half inch of quill lodged firmly in my haunch. I pulled out what I could and thought I got it all. It wept a few times and eventually healed. It'd been twenty years and I still have a scab on my ass that falls off once a month and comes back in a few days. I can feel there's something deep under the skin, but because of the bad angle. There's no way I can take care of it without a dermatologist's help. My left leg makes cracking sounds when I walk upstairs. You know the little flap anchoring your tongue to the bottom of your mouth. Mine's abnormally short, so I can't stick my tongue out as far as the average person. Technically, it was a doctor who told me I had that in the first place. I hadn't ever noticed it on my own, and they were trying to examine my throat for unrelated reasons, and were getting annoyed that I wouldn't stick my tongue out farther as instructed. They eventually realized it wasn't just non compliance and diagnosed the issue. Then just kind of put up with a suboptimal throat view. But it's not what I was there for. Plus, they say corrective surgery is an option, and I've never cared enough to follow up on that. So I'm counting it. The texture of the skin on my right palm changed after I was sick back in March. Sometimes it's bubbly and really itchy. Sometimes it looks just really tight and glossy, and sometimes it's so dry that the skin is cracking up. I can definitely see a difference between the right and the left one, the little roads, fingerprints on the palm on my right palm aren't as visible anymore. I'm 90% certain I have vitiligo, but I'm a pale as slav and, and I can only notice it on my nether regions because it makes a patch of my pubes blonde. I think this summer I should get a tan to confirm this. I have a singular white eyelash on one of my eyes that grows really quickly and gets so long it'll get in my actual eye and I need to cut it every couple of months to keep it short. Edit, continue on the topic of hair, all over my body, I've hair that have multiple hairs growing out of one follicle. These hairs are also super easy and painless to pull out. So weird. My collar bone is always sore, to the point that it keeps me up at night. I guess I technically did go to a doc doctor. I went right after it started hurting and they accused me of drug-seeking. That was a year and a half ago. I'll just live with it. Skin tags. So many skin tags. I got a concussion early January this year, and I still don't feel the same 11 months later. No doctors could do anything about it, as it's just post-concussion syndrome, and it's somewhat common for it to affect people for a year or more after. 